everybody, it's Lydia here. Today I'm doing the mid-year free cut tag even though it's actually September. This tag was created by Chami over at Read Like Wildfire and Eli over at Midnight Blue X and it's basically a series of questions about books that you've already read this year and books you're hoping to read in the remaining months of this year. Question number one is the best book you have read so far in 2015 and I'm going to say The Dead House by Dawn Kurtikich. I loved this book, it leapfrog right to the top of the best books that I've read this year only a fortnight ago and it came out of nowhere and I absolutely loved it, it gripped me from start to finish and I cannot wait to see what else Dawn writes in the future. Question number two is the best sequel you have read so far in 2015 and I have to say Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This question was really tough for me because obviously you all know how much I love the Bone Season series and I absolutely loved the Mime Order but this book really just blew me out of the water and totally surprised me and it's really unlike any other fantasy book I have ever read. It was absolutely amazing and I really cannot recommend this series enough. Question 3 is a new release you haven't read yet but really want to and I am going to say House of Windows by Alexia Casale. I just read The Bone Dragon by her and absolutely absolutely loved it. It was a really heartwarming but really sensitive story. I really enjoyed it and I've heard so much about House of Windows that I cannot wait to get my hands of it and will hopefully be reading that in September. Question number 4 is your most anticipated release for the rest of the year and I am obviously going to say Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I cannot wait to read this book even though I was kind of on the fence about the Greta trilogy. I absolutely loved her world building and I just cannot wait to read other stories in that world so I'm really really excited about it and I've heard nothing but great things so fingers crossed. That not That's not fingers crossed that's thumbs up but you know what I mean, I cannot wait for that book. Question number five is the biggest disappointment and I have to say Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This book had so much hype and in general the reviews that I had heard before I read it were really good but it ended up just being a big amalgam of loads of other fantasy books that I've already read and despite the fact that the premise of it had sounded amazing it was a real, real disappointment. Question number six was the biggest surprise and for me it has to be The Sin It Is Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. I had been, had this book on my TBR for quite a while but I'd kind of been putting off reading it because I'd read the synopsis for it and honestly wasn't blown away. And then I read it and really, really loved it and I cannot wait for the sequel. I really enjoyed it. It was one of those books that I actually came away with and was like, wow, I actually really, really loved that book. It was a really enjoyable read. I was really worried about it because there's this massive love triangle in it and I thought, you know, you know what I'm like with love triangles. I don't like them and I thought that might take over the book. But in the end, I just really enjoyed it and that was the biggest surprise I ever read so far this year. Question number seven is your favourite new author, either debut or new to you. And I am going to say Holly born because I absolutely loved Am I Normal Yet and I'm really excited to read the other books in that series. She's just a really fantastic writer. I thought that book was amusing and enjoyable but it also was really sensitive and her characters were really dynamic and I really just really really loved that book. I gave it five stars and I just yeah as I say I'm really excited to read the other books in that series. Question number eight is newest fictional crush and honestly I don't really have one. I'm not big into fictional crushes, I just don't really get them, I don't know why, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip this question. Question number nine is newest favourite character and I am going to say Lucifer from The Wicked and the Divine Volume 1, The Faust Act, because I thought that was a really interesting character. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like at the beginning, you know, when there's a character that is Lucifer, you have a certain idea of what that character is going to be like. In the end it was just a really interesting character arc and I really loved how that character was written and drawn. It really made me weirdly relate to that character, which is kind of weird when you're relating to Lucifer. Hmm. Question number 10 was a book that made you cry and honestly I don't really cry very often at books. I think I've cried maybe like twice reading books. It just doesn't happen very often so yeah I, I'm gonna skip this question as well. Question number 11 is a book that made you happy and I'm gonna say The Confectioner's Tale by Laura Madeline. This is just one of those really warm light-hearted books and I just absolutely loved reading it. It was a really enjoyable reading experience and it made me really hungry for nice cakes. 
Question number 12 is your favourite book to film adaptation that you've seen this year and I honestly really struggled with this because I honestly couldn't think of very many film adaptations of books that I've seen this year. I don't know how that's happened but somehow I have just not watched very many. However I did see the Maze Runner uh, adaptation earlier this year, I know I'm late to it but I did finally get around to seeing it and that film actually really surprised me. I haven't read the books, don't hate me, I keep meaning to when I have the book, I just haven't got around to reading it yet but that film did really surprise surprised me and I enjoyed it a whole lot more than I thought I would but honestly I just haven't seen very many uh, booked of movie adaptations this year. It was either that or Insurgent and I really don't have many thoughts either way about Insurgent like I just don't care about it that much so I'm gonna go for the Maze Runner. Question number 13 is the favourite video you've made so far this year and I am gonna say my confectioner's tale video. I did that video for the blog tour and I just really liked how it turned out and also I got to eat loads of yummy cakes afterwards. Question number 14 was the most beautiful book you have read so far this year and once again I'm gonna say The Dead House because it was amazing. I'm not gonna go into it now, I'm gonna send you over to watch my Dead House review video of it because I absolutely, absolutely loved the the book it was beautiful it was amazing and I talk about that a lot in that video so go watch that instead and finally question number 15 is what books do you need to read by the end of 2015 and I'm gonna say all the wire shop books because I want to read as many as them as I possibly can also I have this sort of penciled in resolution that I'm gonna read the entire Song of Ice and Fire series whether or not that actually happens is another thing but I, I'm hoping to, it just depends how many other books I have to read. Anyway that is it for today, I'm going to tag Sabrina over at Sabrina Everywhere, let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books that I have read and what you thought of them and let me know what other books you're excited to read for the rest of the year because there are so many great books coming out over the next couple of months, it's going to be a great few months of reading. I will see you again soon but until then, bye! <laughs>